Hi Graham, how are you? I'm very well and uh, excited to be here today. I'm excited for you to be here as well. I understand you've been in the industry for a long time, so why don't you start by telling me about where it all started? Okay, yeah, been in the industry uh, just over 40 years. That sounds a long time. Um, going back to school days, uh, I spent a lot of time in the cabs of trucks, uh, not something that's generally that accessible nowadays. Uh, but on leaving school, I was an apprentice mechanic I did some roles as a mechanic thereafter, uh, then got into truck driving, uh, as you do, got into that as a role, then moved uh, into a large logistics company and went back to mechanicking, then workshop management, uh, worked in a couple of businesses uh, before moving to a builder's merchant as a regional fleet manager, and then worked my way up into that business uh, until I uh, finished as uh, fleet director. Wow, yeah, you are very experienced. So with your expertise, what would you say do you think is the main reason for a shortage at the moment? I think the shortage of drivers isn't new, and we've got to remember that. Uh, we can go back 10, 15 years where we've always needed drivers as the demand. Because if you think about it, everything that ends up on your kitchen table, in your house, in your business, generally comes on the back of a truck. Uh, or comes through a supply chain somewhere, and we're doing more and more of that. Um, I think more recently, um, I'm sure Brexit's played a part, the tax changes with IR35. The perception of the industry just, you know, is it the industry that people want to get to? Admittedly, it's a struggle to go straight from school into truck driving, given the age limits. But I think the wider supply chain industry uh, can attract a lot of school leavers in. You know, if you think about it, the forklift driver always wants to be the truck driver. The truck driver wants to be the transport manager or a planner. So there's that progression in that industry. Um, and I think we, we just need to... Pro so what would you say is the best way to get younger drivers in the industry? I think the apprenticeship schemes that are available now within businesses, businesses pay a lot by the apprentice levy, uh, is a good entry route. Um, I think just... Anything we can do to promote the industry, the wider industry, whether that's supply chain, via the various forums that were available to us. But just, you know, the perception of the job isn't the perception that we see on the, the evening news. It's not all about long haul sleeping in your cab. We, you know, the vehicles that are on the road today, a lot of them are returned to base. The jobs are not maybe the jobs that people perceive them as. They're probably a lot more interested in a lot less hours. So what are the different job opportunities uh, within driving? I think if you looked at the two main categories, you've, you've got your trunking operation where drivers can be away for a few nights, a week, you know, and it's certainly into Europe, maybe weeks at a time. But there's a whole sector of business that relies on transport and distribution for their own businesses and it's generally a return to base operation works you know transport's an early up business isn't it so it's anything from six in the morning till six at night an industry i walked worked in it was 7 30 till 5 monday to friday so very reasonable hours and how diverse would you say the industry is can anyone be a driver i think so long as you've got a car license uh, you can get into HGV. Um, driving trucks today uh, with the new technology, a lot of them are auto transmission. You've got a lot of technology to assist you with driving. Um, I know there's some fantastic stories about truck sat navs, but you know, generally they're there to help. Um, how diverse is it? I think we could be a lot more diverse. Uh, there's a lot of people that, that don't consider driving a truck as a career choice, and we need to promote that. Because for myself, with having lots of tattoos, there's certain industries that I couldn't go into, which I feel is a shame. So can anyone look however they like within the industry? I, th I think looks is something that, you know, why, are you getting hung why do people get hung up on looks? Can somebody do that job, irrespective of gender or, or, or you know, as so long as they've got the ability to do the job in a safe and efficient and practical manner, why would you not employ that person? Yeah, for sure. So what would be your top three favourite things uh, within the industry? My top 
three favourite things. Uh, my top answer is always people. I've met some fantastic people in this industry. I think the opportunities in the wider industry, and we've got to look outside of just HGV. There's a route to HGV driving and there's a world after HGV driving. Uh, so opportunities. And I think just the whole transport logistics family, um, as I call it, is a great opportunity anyway. That's great. Thanks very much for all the info, Graham. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel.